okay after completion of uh, google account to uh, uh, creation and then calendar uh, we are enabling the access of the calendar we generated our credentials and now i'm going to move further with the creating the getting up our first uh, first fresh uh, uh, application not the pre uh, first but it's a fresh installation so just click on right click on this and then i'm going to open a new bash i'm using the git uh, git bash you can use any of the one i'm going to create a new project with the composer so my command is composer create create project laravel slash laravel and then i'm going to name this uh, uh, google calendar i think i have already google calendar apps i'm going to name this uh, calendar app something differently calendar app and then this will now pull the laravel 10 application right because so 10 is our recent uh, uh, recent version and if a new version will came i will also update this series with the new uh, new version right and uh, it's in the process and if i uh, move to the this one so this one is a um, create laravel application and then we are going to move to the uh, install laravel socialite right so after this completion of this one we are going to install the laravel socialite so now let's open the over my laragon i'm using the laragon and if you want to uh, know what is laragon so you can use this for your development purposes mm. let me open this and i'm going to tell you in a minute <clears throat> so basically uh, i am using the laragon for my development local development right so if you are using the xamp i'll suggest you to use the laragon it's much much lightweight you can handle the multiple php versions and much more thing it's very lightweight and to be honest uh, for it um, for this i am big fan of xamp and now when i tried this laragon it's much simpler there is no any um any of the error that your port is occupied and so on things okay and uh, i have full course on it how you can set up into your uh, own operating system basically it's only supported in the windows right not supported in the mac and not sure what are the other some it's port uh, this one is about yeah a lot of gone development so here i'm talking about that uh, in this uh, overall videos i'm talking about how you can set up your own uh, environment right and i have also multiple courses on the laravel if you are a laravel developer i'll recommend you to watch this channel right watch my channel to learn about the laravel i have multiple courses and, and mostly i'm shooting this step by step guide you can see this i'm not going to explain that what are the courses so you can see their title okay and uh, our application is almost done it's generating the i guess i'm going to open my uh, vs code to uh, code this uh, uh, code everything for this uh, overall series so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and for this i'm going to uh, close them i'm going to open the local host php my admin right i'm going to create a new database the name is calendar app i'm mostly same naming the same database name as my application name so it's help us to easily remember okay this one is now completed and i'm going to move to the calendar app okay calendar app and yes i'm switching and here i'm going to open this code dot to code space dot so it will help me to open this into the vs code right so this one is the command you can use this and yes it's open into my vs code automatically i press this code dot this one right and here i'm going to let me set up my database name to oops i'm naming this so uh, this calendar app right oops why i close this this one is a calendar app so let's close this one and i'm going to now open the terminal here right so the phone the fourth step we need the laravel socialite 
so how we can get the laravel switch light so simply visit the laravel.com and then you can simply say that laravel switch light and you can bring this from the from the laravel official documentation laravel switch light okay just click on this and to also make sure that we are in the laravel 10 right okay it's supported into the any of the version but uh, you can uh, i'm in the laravel 10 so i recommend you to use this in the laravel 10 now if you are getting this for the fresh project if you are implementing into the existing one no problem you can use it okay come on it's very simple a uh, composer require laravel socialite and then this will be installed and then we need also a starter kit so should i need to shoot the full video on the starter kit or not you will do this yourself please tell me and here it's done and then we need to go to the uh, this config slash services and we need to add this stuff right so just go to the config and services basically this one is we are going to use a google service so that's why we are going to add the service configuration here right so simply just replace this with the google google and then this would be the capital google install the extension to make this for me but anyway it's not doing this out for now and we will also set this callback url you can also set this into the env file too i'm going to move to the env file i'm going to say that google uh, redirect to redirect to uri okay this one so let me create these variables into my env file uh, i'm going to add them here at the bottom then this second one then third one okay and this one so here you need the client id client secret and then redirect uri so let's come back here i'm going to copy this client id from here simply paste it here then move further with the here copy this client secret right okay and then just paste it here and then here you need the redirect uri so what our redirect URI it's a HTTP and then this would be the local local host 8000 and then oops thousand and then Google slash redirect I'm entering this so same as I did it here uh, this one right this one is a redirect URI and this one is also redirect URI so just close this env close this service our configuration is done our socialite is also installed and uh, it's uh, nothing required anything right and in the next video we are going to uh, we need the starter kits so i'm going to install i'm a big fan of laravel gui so should i need to install the laravel gui or uh, jetstream i need to try something differently so let me uh, search some starter kit uh, here mm, let's go to the top starter kits i'm going to install any of the different one from my favorite one right so here we are going to install the level breeze but what scheme with the level breeze so migrations and uh, sorry about my baby is crying so i need to you need to bear it uh, here because it's uh, i'm shooting this uh, in the same here breeze so let me stall and uh, i think i need to shoot this in the next video so i will shoot this in the next video and thank you so much bye bye